how to create product videos with Google VO3. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can create amazing product videos with VO3. Now, VO3 is available both on Gemini and on Flow, and you can get started with any Google AI subscription plan. You can get started for free as well. You get a certain number of credits on your free account. So simply head on over to deepmind.google and then you can click on try in Gemini or try in Flow. I'm going to be using Flow today. So I'm going to click on create with flow and this will open up a brand new tab from where I can get started with creating my product videos. Now, the best part about using VO3 is that it is able to create hyper realistic, amazing videos with amazing extension scenes. Not only that, but it is also able to take your images and convert them into videos. This was originally a product image for my eyeshadow palette, and this was my original image. And then I converted it into this little short clip. And this type of clip is super useful when I'm trying to do advertising on social media platforms. So this is a great way for you to use VO3 and its amazing scene building powers. So we're going to go back into our flow dashboard and I have logged on to my account over here. You guys can see on your top right, you're going to have your account and then you will see the number of credits you have as well as the membership that you have. Now, these are awesome samples that we have created using VO3. Now, product videos can truly differ. I also have this particular product video where it seems as though the person is talking and then it switches to the other person. Now, we're going to click on new project and for a product video, you can click on the bottom and you have two options text to video and frames to video so if you already have a product image you are going to click on frames to video and then click on the plus icon on the bottom left click on upload to upload your product photo because obviously when you are creating a product video you will need to have some type of photo for that product so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be uploading a image of one of my products and I'm just going to be uploading a image of this lipstick and I'm going to click on save and crop and I'm going to wait for my image to be uploaded. Now you guys can see on the bottom, it displays my image as the first frame. Now you can also add a ending frame by clicking on the plus icon over here and then adding an ending frame, but I do not need any type of ending frame. So I'm just going to proceed with my prompt from here. I'm going to to input the text to generate my video. Now I'm going to click on the top right where it says settings and you're going to choose the number of outputs you want as well as the model you want to use. Today we are going to be using VO3. You have two versions of VO3 right now. You have the VO3 fast and then you have the VO3 quality. If you go for VO3 quality, it takes around 100 credits and VO3 fast takes around 10 credits. So there's a very large difference. However, once you have gotten the prompt down and you like whatever you've created using VO3 fast, you can then use VO3 quality to generate the same thing. And then that generation is just going to help you in providing a better quality snapshot. So now it's time to create your prompt. And there are a few key things that you should be including within your prompts. Starting off is the subject. So beautiful woman or, or a model holding the lipstick in the frame, the model puts or applies the lipstick to her lips there is no camera movement and for the overall scene building i might want to include a very standard studio scene so she or the model or the environment whatever you want to call it the environment is brightly lit studio and now i'm just going to put in my prompt i'm going to be using vo3 and now from here, we're going to proceed. Now this has used VO2. So I'm going to do this entire thing again with VO3 quality as well. So simultaneously, we're going to do that. And I'm just going to be copying my prompt, pasting it in. And then we're going to be clicking on VO3 over here with one output. If you increase the number of outputs, it is not going to necessarily increase your credits, but on in some models, it does. So I'm going to click on over here to use the second one. And you guys will see you have a certain designated number of credits that you have to use. So we're going to wait a couple of seconds and we're going to simultaneously run the other video generation as well. 
like so. So now both our VO3 as well as our VO2 videos have been created. Now this is the VO3 video and you guys can see this looks hyper realistic. This is a very nice video. The product looks exactly as it was pictured and I'll show you guys what the product looks like within the VO2 video. So this is the VO2 video and then it switches the frame from the image to the video and the product is being applied. You guys can see in the VO2 version it does not display the tube fully which can sometimes not be helpful especially if you're trying to build product videos so these types of videos are really nice now to further improve upon this i can do a couple of other things so i'm going to take the same image and i'll show you guys some other things you can include in your prompt to make it far more efficient so in this i need to ask the ai tool to build me the video in a portrait format so scene starts with woman holding lipstick not and i'm not gonna write woman i'm going to use the term model model beautiful face applying lipstick applying the lipstick and saying that it's amazing and make it in a portrait format so the background is a room and the video is in a portrait ratio now again you can define the ratios as well i'm just going to leave it at portrait ratio now i'm going to be using vo3 because i want to use audio if you do not require audio in your product videos then you can use vo2 but if you do want audio then i would recommend obviously using vo3 because that is what is going to create audio for you and again we're going to wait a little while for our new video to be created now right now our new video has been created and this is what it looks like so just like so this is our video and you guys can see that's amazing this has even included the caption and this is amazing i could honestly use this in an ad set or ad creative and it would fit in perfectly and just like so you can proceed with creating other product videos now i have created some simple videos as well so i previously had a photo shoot and this was one of the videos that we have created in the past this was a still image image that I had from a photo shoot and we converted it into a video with a little bit of movement, the model walking around, and this can take some of your still shots and convert them into amazing videos that can be used in social media because videos are far more engaging and are often promoted more frequently in social media content. If you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.